Italia è un tocchettino, è, è fin Fred not this night not this night I am talking to you and walking out of one man. I just walk my ass off and come back home to, to a dirty house. So what have you been doing all day? Tell me. Do you have the ghost to tell me not this night? Are you mad? Frederick, please. I am not feeling well to be your errand. I believe in you because without you, my life is worthless. You have always been with me. You have always guided me, guided my family, protected us in everything we do. Father Lord, we can never stop being your children. We can never stop believing in you. We can never stop praising you. I thank you, Father, because I know that with you, my life will ever be the one that you... <coughs> thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, um, I won't be back home today, all right? So don't wait up for me. Why? Are you going to an outside work? No, 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 I'm not leaving town. I have work to do outside of my workplace. So that's the reason. What kind of work outside of your workplace will make you not to come back home? Fred, I told you I'm not feeling well. I couldn't sleep last night. And you didn't even bother to ask what is wrong with me or if I need any kind of medication. And now you're telling me you're not coming back home. I don't like the way I feel. I need to go to the hospital. I, I, I understand. But I don't know what you want me to do. If not, I have explained to you that I don't have money. Business is slow. You're the movie producer here. Take care of yourself if you're feeling ill. I am not stopping you from going to the hospital to take care of yourself. But please, take the kids to school. Don't forget. Please. My sister has already taken them to school. Oh, oh nice. Um, I left some money for you on the bed. So you take care of yourself. Take care of the house. And uh, I see you when I get back, all right? Naya, why are you crying? This might mean nothing. We need to go to the hospital first for checkup to be sure. Did you give any money for checkup? He did not leave any money. He said business is dull. But he dropped his normal 2,000 naira for feeding. He left his normal 2,000 naira for feeding when there's no food stuff in the house. What do you want me to do? Rob him. He said he doesn't have any money. Okay. Now that there's no money, what do you want to do? Honestly, Bella, I do not know. I just pray this is nothing. I hope he goes away. Maybe it's just stress. Then you have to slow down on house chores. Stop pleasing this husband of yours that does not appreciate anything that you do. Don't speak of him like that. He's the father of my kids. How much do you think this man loves you? I've lived with you for two years now and I need to see the way this man treats you. He treats you like trash. He does not even appreciate anything you do, yet you bottle everything up. But what do you want me to do? Bella, where do I go to? Mother is dead. Father has taken another wife and I already have two kids. I'm just a struggling filmmaker. I've done three movies with the money that I borrowed and the three failed. I owe money here and there. I couldn't even recover my capital. <sighs> Bella, honestly, I just pray and hope you understand me because you're my best sister. If nothing else, I cannot leave my marriage because of my kids. 
yourself to stay. Your kids are greeting you. Hi, kids. Come. It's much better. Come, let's go. How's the day? Hmm? Come here. Mm. You're going to bed. <laughs> How dare you speak to me like that in front of the kids? How do you mean, Fred? You came back to your own home with your face squeezed. And you could not respond very well to your kids. What do you want them to think? That they did something wrong by greeting their own father? So you now want to tell me when and when not to answer my kids? My kids? If Naya, <laughs> you are trying to tell me how to run my family, how to run my home. I choose to go in, go out, go anywhere I want because it's my life and you have no right whatsoever to question it. Do you understand it? Oh, I know, I know what is bringing up this one. Guilty conscience. Fred, you think I'm bothered that you did not come home last night? Or you think I'm bothered that you just come back to your own house? I'm no longer bothered. We've been married for six years now. What have you not done to me? You have thrown me out under the rain. Fred, you have broken me into many pieces. What is left for you to do now? There's nothing you do that matters to me anymore. Please, welcome home. Hmm? Am I talking to a human being here? Freddy, please, please, you would have just stayed back where you're coming from. I do not have strength for your trouble at all. Just leave me. What have I done now? What you've done wrong, what you've done wrong is that you've become the most useless person I've ever met in my life. Bloody useless. You're good for nothing. Your offense is that you've become very useless. Bloody fool. Frederick, please stop mocking my God. Stop mocking my God. After all, you're not the one that gave me the money I used in doing my first film. Leave it. My God will announce me when the time comes. Please, stop mocking my God. If you're tired of this marriage, you just send me back to my father's house. At least I still have a father. What is the problem? What has my life got to do with the fact that I refuse to wash your clothes? I'm tired of fighting for this marriage as if I'm the one that needs it the most. Uh -uh. What is stopping you? I'm not stopping you from leaving. If you want to leave, you can leave. See, if you leave now, it's not doing anything to me. All right? Because you've not added anything to my life. Ever since I've known you, you've added nothing to my life. You're just useless to me. The career you're talking about, what have you achieved? Tell me what you've achieved in all the movies you've been doing. Nothing. Zero. You are pure burden to me. If you want to leave, I'll be glad to send you off. I promise you. Freddy, who is this new girl that you're shagging that is turning your head around? Uh, well, if I will leave, I hope you know I will live with the kids. That's even beautiful. You can live with the kids. See, I'm not stop see, I'm not stopping you. If you want to live with the kids, go ahead and live with the kids. <laughs> but you and I know that you don't have anywhere to go. You are broke. You just have to let it out. Don't keep it all inside. You have to just do yourself. Just let it out. Oh, death. 
death. Mommy, where are you? Mommy, why do you have to die now? Why do you have to leave me? Who will not show me who will take care of me? My heart can't take this anymore, Bella. It cannot take this. You know what it is, cancer? I heard that lumps are a sign for breast cancer. Who will take care of me? Oh. <sighs> If elder brother was around, if he had not died, he would not have allowed me to be in this miserable marriage. But if I die, who would take care of my kids? I'm the one taking care of you and the other siblings because you do not have anything. Right. Where would I go to? Where do I even have to go? He's right. But I have just that one that will never leave me. Sis, how do you know that I can lend us money? I don't even know anybody. No, we need to run a series of tests to know if it's breast cancer or not. There's nobody to move away from me. I don't even know anybody, so I just can't do this. Bella, God. I know God. God has always been by my side. He has never left me. He's always with me. Even when everybody leaves me, God will never leave me. He will never leave me. If you are, you cried. If it's because of what I said earlier on, I didn't mean it, okay? Fred, I have a lump on my breast. Lump? How? What does that mean? I don't know, honestly. I'm, I'm scared out of my heart. I think I need to get to the hospital. I'm sure it means nothing. Come on. You don't go to the hospital over everything. Alright? Relax, you'll be fine. You think so? Money trickling in so we have a place to stay, have food on the table, you know? But I'll try, I'll try my best. Alright? In the morning I'll arrange 10,000 naira. So you can go to the hospital. At least we'll have a doctor's opinion on this. It's okay. Come, come. Just relax, all right? You'll be fine. <sighs> Man, my wife says she found a lump in her breast. I don't know what that means. A lump? I'm telling you. Hey, <laughs> if you ask me, uh. It means you're about to go bankrupt. What are you talking about? <laughs> I said my wife found a lump in her breast. They're talking about bankruptcy. You need to inform our family immediately so that they can come take up the responsibility. Because at the end of it all, you could lose your money and as well lose your wife. People with cancer don't usually survive. <laughs> what are you talking about? Cancer? Wait, are you saying that the lump in her breast means she has cancer? Um, listen, friend. Cancer is a life-threatening disease. It could take all your money for treatment. And you might at the end of the day still lose the person. Oh God. See, uh, I, I, I am not trying to say that you should not stand by your wife. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to say that let our family contribute. You know? 
This is not fair, man. This is, this is not... She, she's not treating me right. Uh, and, and this is not what I married her for now. This is unfair, very unfair to me. Eh? She, her kid sister and her cousin stays with me. That's a huge financial burden on me. Now she goes out to get the cancer. Where would I get money to take care of that? Hmm? It's not even funny. Wait. And, and that also means that um, they're gonna cut off her, her breasts. She might lose both. Oh God. But um, I'm, I'm sorry, man. You need to take it easy, okay? No, no, no. What did I do to deserve this now? We, we should be praying it's not cancer. I, 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 just, I just hope so. I just, I just, I pray to God it's not cancer. Yes, yes. Let's, let's hope. Let's pray. So, madam, how long have you noticed the presence of the lump on your breast? Because a lump that size doesn't just become big overnight. It's, it's about a month now. A month? And you've not been to the hospital in lump that size? At first, I thought it was just an infection. Okay. Then I googled it, and it said mas mastitis. And I know that mastitis causes lump in the breast. So I was scared of what the outcome may be. Because I know that lumps in the breast can cause breast cancer. That is the more reason you should have come to the hospital. Don't go to the internet looking for answers. Anyway, I've examined you and it's not mastitis. And you know, early detection of breast cancer can save life. So, doctor, are you saying it's late? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm going to send you for a scan of your breasts and your armpits to check for lymph nodes and to check if the lump is malignant. Doctor, what if it is malignant? Go for the test first and then come back with the result. Why? Bella is malignant. Thousand naira and he said he has no more money. Bella, what do I do? Maybe I should sell this small guy that I'm using. Maybe someone will bring the money and I can use it and it will help me in one or two things. I don't know. I have series of tests to run. What do I do? Where do I run to? Who do I ask for money? Who do I ask for money? Baba, what do I do? <laughs> There's no buyer for the movie, yes? <laughs> the internet company has not gotten back to me yet. <laughs> This is not time for you to lose faith. Remember you were Ifunanya, God's own favorite. Is there anything you've asked of God that he has not done for you? Remember you always tell me to have faith and that the will of God in our life it's for us to be strong. Do you think the will of God in your life is for you to die and leave your kids? Knowing the kind of husband that you have? Since he will take care of your children. Please do not lose hope. Let your faith not waver this time, please. I want my sister that believes in God to call on her God. If I have called on your God, call on your God. Hello. What do you mean by the movie is not approved? Please, madam, I want that movie to be approved, though. She sends me to a scan. And it's malignant. What does that mean? Meaning it could be cancer. So I need to run other series of tests. So, have you informed your father? Yes. Fred, do you think I want to get sick? Do you think I want to be in pain? You may abandon me, but pray sickness never visits you. Me? I never get sick now. I come from a family of healthy people. Go and ask questions. My family members don't get sick. See, you, you might think I'm trying to be wicked here or, or reasonable, but I am thinking for the both of us, for our good. Because if I take all the money I have and spend it on your treatment, then you die. What's going to happen to the kids? They're going to school. Do you remember that? 
or you're just thinking of yourself only. Frederick, you shall test it. You shall feel pain. Frederick, God will punish you with this matter to telling this thing to me, Frederick. Frederick, I pray you will never have strength or comfort when this thing is God will punish you. I will not be How could you? How could you hit her knowing she has a lot that size in her breast? Frederick, you were married to my sister. She is your responsibility. Frederick, my parents gave my sister to you in one piece when you asked for her hand in marriage. If anything, I say if anything should happen to my sister, you will have my family to answer to. Very for goodness sake. What has Ifunaya done? Oh, that you did not answer me. God, Father in heaven. There is no time that I knelt and put my knees down and call on you that you were not there for me. Heavenly Father, I have two little chickies and I know there is no way you would take me from the surface of those earth and leave those kids behind. They still have a long way to go and I'm their mother. You brought me into this world and said I will also bring out fruit into this world. So it's not my time to go King of glory, Lord of Lord, Father, Lord, please, I ask you for this one thing. I'm your daughter. I ask you for this one thing, I'm your daughter, God. Whatever it is that I've done, whichever way that I've seen that comes out of your glory, Father, Lord, please forgive me my sins because I am a sinner. It's from a woman's womb that I was born, who is also a sinner, God, and you said to me that you will always be there for me, that you would not let anything surpass me. You've always guided me. You've always protected me in anything I do. I give you all the praises because I know you said as you call upon you, you shall be there for me. God, do not let the enemies laugh at me. And why mommy crying? Mommy's crying, crying. Mm. Mom is crying because she's begging God to keep her alive so she can see your wife and children. What is wrong with her? She might have cancer, but we need to run more tests to be sure. Why are we not running the test? Amy, she has no money now. Ever since mom died, she has taken me cared for me. God cannot let her die. God forbid. God will not let her die. She's been the one that has been taking care of us since mommy died now. She's our second mom. God will not take our second mother away from us. Ife, you've been fasting and praying for the past three days now. Don't you think you should take a break considering your health? What will I be doing with the break period if I stop calling on God? Bella, I will never stop calling on God. I have faith in Him because I believe He will not let me to die. So I will not stop calling on Him. The mammogram is expensive, and we need to do it. I don't even have any money. I don't know if you can, you know, talk to your husband to at least raise us 20,000 Naira. So we can use it to run around, you know, where we can see if, you know, money will come from anywhere. Hmm? Or do you think we should call that? Call that? I am no longer that responsibility, you know that. Our dad just lost our mom and our brother in less than one year. And that is some medication for his high BP, which is so high. And you think telling him that I want to die will be good? What do you think will happen to him? I don't know. I'm just... I'm just running out of options. I don't know. I just... I just, I just break down. You don't, don't have to. Listen. I believe in God and I know He will not let me down. That is why I said I will not stop calling on Him. You know, there is nothing God cannot do. Because they said in times like this, all we need is calling. And I believe in Him and I trust in Him and I know that He will never leave me. Let us pray. 
what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You're blessed. You're blessed. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I think you should take it easy on yourself. Take it easy on what? Does my prayers bother you? No, they don't. See, I understand you've been going through a lot lately. But we don't even know what this is. So let's just slow it down. Frederick, you don't know what you're saying. The first scan says it's malignant. I need a mammogram, but you have refused to give me money to do it. Do you really think I have money and I don't want to give to you? If he have been telling you for the past couple of weeks that business is slow, I'm saving up money to pay for the shop. Fred, so your shop is more important than them. What? Five thousand dollars? Yes. Yes, I'm willing to sell. When can I be paid? Okay. Okay, I'll come in this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's a new day. He will make a way in the wilderness. There is no need to doubt. He will do away in his own time. Just keep on trusting. Test agrees with the scan, so I'll be writing you to go and meet the soldier. We we'll have to perform a fine needle aspiration. We would insert the needle to your breast, down to your lung, and then we will numb the area so you don't feel much pain. Do you take any blood thinners? No. Okay then. Um, you have to go and pay sixty-five thousand naira to the cashier. Take the receipt and. And this note to the nurse, so they will prepare you for the fine needle aspiration. Then I'll be with you shortly. Okay. What if it's cancer? What if it's not cancer? Bella, where is your faith? At some point, we just need to start facing reality. You heard what the doctor said. They might need to remove your breast. And my husband may never look at me again. But I'm not worried about that. The doctors have said this, but it's only God that has the final say. So I'm not worried about whatever the outcome may be. Because God got me. The numbness is wearing off and the injected area is paining me. Please, just get me a pain reliever. Okay. I'll get you a pain relief tablet if only you promise me that you stop crying. <sighs> Bella, come on. I won't cry anymore. Just get me a pain relief. Sorry, so how did you get money to go to the hospital? God. So what did the doctors say? They referred me to surgeons. 
that took a tissue sample of my breast for biopsy. And if it's cancer, they have to take off my breast to stop it from spreading. How can they just take off your breast? Frederick, maybe if you had given me a little time and gone with me, you should have asked them. I don't understand why you are sounding like I don't care. Like I don't know what you're going through. Because you do not care, Frederick. I am passing the worst phase of my life and you are not even there to hold my hands while they sat this long needle into my breast. Frederick, they numbed me, but I still felt the pain. I called for you and looked for you, but you were not there. I could not find you. Thank God for the blessing of angels that God gave me as sisters. What would I have done? Frederick, I have never left you in any time of your need. But you left me alone. Even when you are in pain, I am there. During your failure, Frederick, I am there. Even when you cheat on me, I am still there. But just this one thing that I asked you, you were not there. Tell me, how can I ever love you again? Tell me. See, this... Can you, can you just listen to me? I had a long day. God says that anybody that puts their faith in you will not want. God, I come to you today as your daughter. I want you to turn every negative result to positive. Father Lord, I am your daughter and you have promised me that you would not let me down. And I am asking you, Father Lord, if you do this for me, God, I will forever worship you. I will forever sow a seed for you, Father, and I promise you with all my heart that I will forever take care of every widow. Anybody that is poor that comes around me shall not lack. Father, Lord, I will be there for anybody that has any needs. God, I am calling upon you to please come and help me. It's not something I've said yet, but I know and believe in you that you have the right, you have the power to turn every result to the way you want it. Heavenly Father, you created me, you gave me a full body. You did not give me cancer. You did not give me any malignant or whatever the doctors may say, but you gave me a full body. You made me a woman. You made me to carry two of my kids in my womb and I gave birth to them and nothing happened to me. Heavenly Father, I gave God glory. And I know the way you have always saved me, the way you have always been with me, the way you have always delivered me from every kind of sickness is the way you will turn this result. And I believe that the way you created me is the way that you shall keep me. And I will not die, Father in heaven. I will never die, God. And I promise you, I will save you, God. I will save you. God, I bless you. He will make a way. Just keep on trusting in his love. It's a new day.
We have good news and bad news. Doctor, let me hear the bad news first. Your lumps will have to be removed for confirmation of this result. So, you will remove my breast? No, I'm not going to remove your breast. But due to the size of the lump that is as the size of a tennis ball, your breast will be deformed after the operation and it will leave a big scar. Do you need to think about this or talk to someone about it? Because you might not feel the same after this operation, you know, especially for your self-esteem. Where is your husband? Yeah, he traveled. So what is the good news? If the result is confirmed, your breast will be benign. What does that mean? It means it's not cancerous. And after removing it, you will get back to normal. But doctor, the scan, the mammogram says it's malignant, so are you sure? I'm hopeful the tissue they took was not enough. So to confirm this, the whole lung will be removed and taken for a second biopsy. Doctor, can I ask a question? I am your surgeon. Feel free to ask me any question. If if they remove the lung, what do you then mean by my breast will be deformed? The lung is painful and huge. So, if we were to remove or to avoid any reoccurrence, we will need to cut in deep and then get it all out. And you will be awake for this procedure. The operation will result to deformity. Your breast will be saggy. You will have a huge scar in your breast and you might not even feel your breast anymore. It's okay. Doctor, I don't have a problem with this scar because it will always remind me what God has done for me. So just book me for the surgery. Okay, you have to do some paperwork then and to let you know that Every surgery comes with a risk. I'm not afraid, doctor. Thank you. You're welcome. You'll be fine. Okay? You'll be fine. Take it easy. Okay? <laughs> My surgery is tomorrow. Okay. I may not be able to drive after that. Would you come with me? I... I really would have loved to go with you, but I think it's best to go with your sister. I'll drop you guys off, then go hustle for the money for the surgical operation, since you said you'd be fine after it. You may not notice me, but I do notice you. You darkened. I think you should try and go to the hospital and check yourself up. No, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Let me go inside and come in with my God over his successful surgery tomorrow. Alright. Uh, when you're ready, let me know. Okay. Okay. Tell me all this way. You should just come in back. Yes. Me, Zoga. I'll go to work. Good. Brought her home. I did. I don't know how to drive. We used Marua. My legs, my legs. Sorry. I can't feel my legs. My legs are cold. Oh. 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 Oh my god, she's still bleeding. She's still bleeding. We need to take her back to the hospital. Please, do oh, oh, oh my god. Please, have to take care of her. Let me get back to one please, of the neighbors please, to see if they can take us to the hospital, okay? Sorry. 
What happened? I had um, she had bleeding. But Bill, I told you to call me if anything comes up. Why didn't you call me now? Frederick, be cool. I don't have your time. See what time you're coming back. Probably you came to carry her cups to the mortuary. Ah, Bella, stop, please. Don't talk to him like that. Uh -uh. Even on your sick bed, you're defending him. Okay, Olga. She was bleeding, so I never took us to the hospital. They've stopped the bleeding and they padded her breast. Um, she's still in pains, though. Oh, that's good. You can take care of her. Uh, what about the lump? We've taken it for the second biopsy. If we, I'll be in my room in case you need anything, okay? Alright. Thank you so much, Bella. Eh? Thank you. Thank you. How are you? Frederick, you are a very selfish man. Honestly. It's, it's only God that will deliver you. See, baby, I wanted to stay. I couldn't. Right? I was scared. I couldn't watch. It was too much for me. I'm very sorry. Right? Just relax. You'll be fine. Okay? Do you want anything? Eh? Don't worry. Fred, please come and help me clean and dress my wound. It's beginning to smell. Why would you ask me to come help dress your wound? They are yours for a reason. You said your wound. Why are you calling me? Besides, God, she just stepped back a little bit. This is so irritating to look at. Ever since I came back from the hospital, it's Bella, my sister, that has been cleaning it for me, and I can't be going to the hospital to do it. You're my husband. At least I need a little closure from you to make me feel good in my own skin. See, uh, Ify, I don't understand the reason why you're being emotional over nothing. Alright? So because I'm your husband, I should go and kill myself. Or because I'm your husband, I should go do things I obviously cannot do. Why are you doing this now? Isn't that dress so ugly to look at? I'm not saying it to make you feel bad or anything, but you know I'm saying the truth. You, you, you know I'm saying the truth. Fred, you can go to work. I'll take care of her. No, I will not go to work. I will sit at home and lazy about like all of you. You've not given me the reason why you're still with this selfish, unrepentant male child. He's my husband. He's the father of my kids. So I believe someday God is going to humble him. <sighs> You're the strongest person I've ever seen in this world. The love. Hello? Okay, the result is ready. Um, okay, please, um, can you at least tell me what's in the result first before you take it to the hospital, please? There's no case of cancer. In my worst day of life, no case of in my darkest hour, in my seat and flesh, you chose me. I was blind to your love, I was left to your words, I couldn't feel your tears, but you chose me. <laughs>
are you doing taking care of him? A man that neglected you when you were sick, then you are taking care of him. Bella, God gave me this man. If I do not take care of him, who would? <laughs> Sometimes I don't understand you. Is this test result out? I'll go for it later today. If I am, your movies are now paying you. Why don't you just leave this useless man? Well, I noticed he was not feeling well the time I was going through my audio. The fact that he did not take care of me does not mean I should neglect him. We all can be devils, you know. He was robbed off of everything that he, he owned in his store and he could not even pay back the money that he collected from the bank. What am I supposed to do? Well, I have to try as much as I can to help him because it's not my husband. If I leave him to die, where is the power? And you have toxins in your liver. If not treated, it could damage your liver. Hey. Uh, so, how do you go about the treatment? Go to the hospital and see a doctor. Uh, uh, hospital? Uh, if you are told I don't have money, I have just about 10,000 naira in my account. Uh huh. So, what do you want her to do now? Frederick. I asked you not to borrow money from the bank. You did not hear. I begged you, pleaded with you to stop smoking and drinking. Instead, you beat me up. So, what do you want me to do? You need to run some more tests. Where do you think the money is going to come from to run the tests? I don't have any money to spend. So it's better you inform your family now so they start contributing money, whatever they have, or pull it together and start funding your treatment because I'm not spending any more money on hospital bills you're willing to make me regret getting married to you anywhere you see sickness you say hello to it and you invite it home you forget that someone is paying for the treatments Fred do you think I want to get sick do you think I want to be in pain you may abandon me but pray sickness never visit what you've done wrong is that you've become the most useless person I've ever met in my life. Bloody useless. You're good for nothing. Your offense is that you've become very useless. Bloody I am talking to you and you're walking out of my mind. I don't walk my ass home and come back home to, to a dirty house. I mean, I'm going to pass her. You chose me. I was blind to your love. I was deaf to your words. I could feel but you chose me. I'm sorry. I've learned my lessons. I've been a fool. So I've realized. Let me think. I was blind to your love. I was deaf to your words. I could have feel your touch, but you chose me. Big Rose, you know I don't have money now. I would have assisted you. But come to think of it, this money that they are calling for this medication is too big. And I, <laughs> I can't afford it all. Uh -uh. Is it not just 150,000 naira? How is it high? I'm sure you people can run around for it now. Why are you talking like this? Why are you talking like this? You know, I don't have. If I had, I won't hesitate for him to get well. Ike, didn't your brother tell you that I had an operation? Did you call or visit? Didn't you know it was a lump that could have resorted to cancer? 
if not for the intervention of God. Didn't your brother tell you that he never followed me for once to any doctor's appointment? Did your brother tell you that he brought 10,000 Naira for an operation that cost 300,000 Naira? Did your brother tell you that he never prayed with me, nor even held my hands? And now you come and sit here and talk about forgiveness. Please, oh, I am not God. If I am, uh, it's not me. I listened to my friend. He told me if I were to treat cancer, I would go bankrupt. Don't blame this your wickedness on anyone else. You alone caused this. You, you yourself, you caused everything yourself. No one else. I, I accept. I know. I'm sorry. Uh, we are Christians now. Uh, forgive me. Your brother had money to pay for a shop and I was dying. <laughs> oh, and now you want me to forgive. Honestly, I'm not God though. I don't know how I can forgive this. I don't know how God does this. I really don't know. Our wife, please, you, you, you have to, you, you have to, see, for the sake of your kids, please, see, we have done everything humanly possible to raise this money, please, see, bank collected all he had, when the money he borrowed to, to get the goods were stolen, so please, he, is at your mercy. Please forgive. Even when I broke, <sighs> broke your heart, I couldn't break your love. And that Sis, is the reason. I'm sure you'll be surprised that at what I want to say. I think you should care for him, your husband. Remember your God's favorite daughter. What do you mean? God has humbled your husband. He has kept him at your mercy. I mean, see, almost all his family members are begging you. Just do this for him so that he don't look like you're a bad person. Who says he will not change when he gets better? I was caring when he was down. But now that he needs money, I want him to suffer. I know it's not easy. Okay? Remember that God saved you. God made your husband to beg you. He made him to feel pain. And now he has made him to be afraid of death. At this point, God wants you to forgive him. That is why he has given you the power to decide on his fate. I mean, Sis, please, if not for anything, just do this for the sake of God, your children, and for inner peace. Please. Frederick. Frederick. Get up. Try and take a shower.
Path. 